Good day, Sven the Slayer here once again, and welcome back to Star Made. I have a couple more showcase items to show off today. I've developed a couple more elevators, with recent features being added into the dev build, including the buttons and wireless logic is now working. So, what I have over here is a very simple elevator. You know, has the same call function, cart comes down. The control panel is contained in the cart itself, and it uses wireless logic to control it. And then I can go up to, like, say, floor two, and it'll take me to floor two. And floor five will take me up to floor five. It is very simple. And over there you can see the more complex version, which I'll be showing you off in just a second. And the wiring for this is very minimum. You just have the... The cart has six buttons for the sixth floor elevator, six wireless blocks to send the signal to the wi these the uh, second set of wireless blocks here, and these are just wired and these buttons are wired directly into those wireless blocks, and then those are wired into the controller down here. And I only have three rail controllers, and then I have the activators wrapped around them just to cut down on the number of blocks. So very simple structure. And over here we have this monster, but this thing is absolutely amazing. I built it today, uh, live uh, on Twitch, from scratch basically. I, I'd started it before I started streaming, but it has the call function. And then the doors will oh, slide open. And you can see the indicator of the floor in the cart itself. And it works just like an elevator you push the floor you want and it goes up to that floor or down to that floor and then the doors will open and you may notice that the elevator does not start moving until the doors are fully closed so actually if I jam the door the elevator will stop functioning um, I had a little problem with that uh, originally these were wedges looks a little nicer but the wedges were having trouble they're a little buggy yet um, if you attempt to <laughs> deactivate the elevator it'll just kind of close the doors and say no I, I don't like that um, and you can turn off the elevator while you are moving and it'll just stop at the next floor and that floor will be selected and you can also change directions while the elevator is functioning. So, you know, you can <laughs> hang out in the elevator all day if you like. Uh, it also has the same lockout features as the previous version. Say, if once the elevator is called, it cannot be interrupted until it reaches that floor. I also have the option to add in a delay. Say, the elevator will get there, and it won't be able to move again for you know, a second, two seconds, whatever, to keep people from, say, watching the elevator. You're, you're heading down to the first floor, and, you know, first floor was a bad... <laughs> you're sitting up here, waiting for that light to turn off, and as soon as the light turns off, you pound that button, and you can actually, you know, lock the person in the elevator, so I can, I can add a, add delay to fix that. And the logic is no more complex. It's probably actually simpler than my original elevator because it doesn't have to have all those control panels every floor. It just needs one control panel and then that just sends its signal to where it needs to be. And I still have to pour over it seeing if there's any redundant blocks I can remove and then arrange these bits so they're easy to um, know what everything does and be able to do a tutorial for it. But I, I could just sit here and just stare at this thing, just pushing the buttons and watching the elevator go, closing the door, opening the door, and you know the, the light up control panel on the inside. And you see that this is there's there's nothing here. There's like no logic on this cart, but that button is lit because these wireless blocks work fully two ways. So I can actually control the elevator from the outside here. So you can have a main control panel too, controlling the elevator. And you see that that's two, and if I hit this button down here, or not C, it'll 
turn to one, and then the elevator will move. And it's just, just really, really an amazing feature. And this is the um, door detection down here. Is the elevator will only function when all of these door detectors are detecting the doors closed. And I can add some to the other side if I wanted to, just to add a little bit more robust uh, options to the system. Because if I place a block here and I send the elevator away, it'll lock the one door but not the other one. Um, it wouldn't do that if I actually had the wedges working. But I can actually sh maybe show you uh, what that was doing. I actually have to get out of here and mess with that. But yeah, this is the uh, ultimate elevator. I <laughs> challenge somebody to create something better. Um, so we have the super simple and then the super feature complete. I'd love to see what other people can come up with to see if they can top this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.